Hey everyone, my name is Patrick. Welcome back to another video. As you just saw, I'm taking Mixie for a walk. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys what I get up to on a day during lockdown in Sydney. Every morning lately, I've been taking Mixie for a walk. And it's a really nice routine. It's nice and sunny in the morning. It's a nice time to be out. I feel like it's a really refreshing way to start the day. Like once I get outside, I feel like I've done some exercise, got some sunlight. Mixie's happy she's been for a walk as well. So it's a great way to start the day. If you haven't tried it, try it out. Go for a walk first thing in the morning. Maybe we'll explore in this forest here. Mixie, do you want to explore in the forest? Yes, I do. Yes, yes. Fools are good. Fools are good. Alright, so we're entering this forest area. Explore what's in here. I remember I used to come down here sometimes just to relax. It's quite a nice spot with the creek and the lots of trees. And sometimes I had some realizations here when I was just watching the water. I remember one of them was that I've always spent my life, at least in the last five, ten years, never living in the present moment, always trying to get somewhere. So that's one of the realizations I had. And the other one was just like water, how it's, it's all one, but it's made up of many different droplets. Same with like people and everything. We're all one, but we're just different expressions of the same one. And Mix is now leaving the forest. So I better head out, but just let me show you guys what it looks like. All right, there's Mixie. Sniffing like always. Let me know in the comments below, does your dog sniff this much? She sniffs every two meters. Alright, Mixie's over there. But she often likes to walk up there to see if she follows me. Usually once I get quite far away, she starts to follow me. This is the only place I really let her go free though, because Somewhere else you might run into someone's backyard or something. She's just sniffing something. Then let's see if she comes along. Mixie! Right, here she comes. As I already mentioned, it's currently locked down in Sydney. Trains still go. You don't have to wear a mask outside if you're exercising, but if you go inside, you have to wear a mask. Apparently, you're meant to carry ID and carry a mask with you if you exercise, but all the shops are closed. So you're pretty much meant to stay inside unless you have essential work, exercising with two people or less, or go to the shops, which only one person go to the shop at a time, only for essentials like groceries. This bird is attacking Mixie. I'll save you. I got you, Mixie. I saved her. Mixie just sniffed at some bark around a tree and then found underneath the bark all this cheese and she started eating it. So I took it away from her just in case it's not safe to eat. And now we're on the way home and then I'll show you guys what I get up to for the rest of today. Hey everyone, so it's now the next day. Yesterday I, I ended up filming in the morning the walk with Mixie. Rest of the day I didn't film. And now it's the next day. I just had lunch, so it's about 1 pm. And I decided to go for a bike ride because I haven't been very far from my house since I got out of quarantine. So I'm exploring in the suburb next to it. I often used to ride my bicycle around here, it's a very nice place. And they've changed it a little bit. There's a little creek here. And before it was quite difficult to cross because there was no steps or anything. But now they've added this, these uh, rock steps here. 
So now I can cross here without getting wet. I think once I, sometimes I try riding my bicycle through there. But I probably got pretty wet shoes. Anyway, it's it's so nice to be back in nature. Vietnam has a lot of nature as well, but it's it's a different type. And I feel like to get there, it take a longer time. Whereas this is just like less than 10 minutes by bicycle from my house. Or about 10 minutes. Very quiet, lots of nature. And I'm wearing a jumper and long pants as well because it's quite cool. But I've warmed up now, so I'll probably take my jumper off. Do you guys enjoy this type of random vlogging where I'm just talking about what I'm doing? Like you probably don't care about me having a jumper on. <laughs> But I feel like this is what other vloggers talk about and I just I just like documenting what I'm doing so what I'm doing in these videos is documenting my journey sharing what I'm up to during Sydney lockdown 2021 There's actually quite a lot of people walking on the path up there. It's probably the, one of the busiest times I've ever seen it. I guess because during COVID, people, you're only allowed to exercise within 10 kilometers of your house. So you can't go further than that. So I guess everyone is just walking near the house and this is a really nice area to exercise. Some people kicking the ball. Yeah, I'm glad that we can still get outside for exercise. I think at some places of the world, maybe in Saigon, in Vietnam, I think I heard you're not allowed to exercise there at the moment or maybe recently so at least here even though we're in lockdown we can still go outside which is good i'm not sure which one of these four cameras records video i'm not sure which one to look at i think it's the middle one but let me test this three four i've now got to continue my bicycle ride but just a reminder for all you guys watching if you have the opportunity to get out get out into nature it's so revitalizing it makes you feel so much better physically mentally so beautiful and all the nature. They've also added some new chairs here since last time I came here. The last time I was vlogging while riding my bicycle, you may know what happened. If you watch my previous videos in Vietnam, I was vlogging like this, riding a bicycle, but then my phone fell out, fell out of the tripod and then a motorbike ran over it, which destroyed it. But I'm still on a mission. I might try to recover those files if I can. There's only uh, maybe half a vlog. But yeah, luckily there's no motorbikes on this path here to run over my phone if it does drop. Right, this is all new as well. Last time I was here, this sign wasn't here. Talking about a flood risk. And they built this new steps and path. Looks pretty cool. So let's check out what's on the other side. I think I'll leave my bicycle there. This is awesome. Yeah, didn't it used to have this? Really nice. You can cross the creek now. So yeah, just another path on this side. I'm not sure if I've been here before. I know I've been in this area, but maybe they've extended this path. Maybe I'll check it out another time. So yeah, guys, if you don't usually get out, get out and explore your local area. You never know what is around. There could be a new path, some forest you never found. So you guys reckon I could cycle down these steps? I'm gonna give it a go just for you guys. If I get hurt, it's your fault. Okay guys, from the first step I could tell that's not a good idea. I don't think my tires would have the traction to hold onto the steps. So let's skip it. Give me a thumbs up on this video for trying. Right, so I brought the bike across the creek. I saw this little narrow path here, so I thought I may as well explore, see where it goes to. Very narrow path. Looks like it leads to some type of hut or something. Looks like someone could almost sleep under here connects onto the creek 
quite a bit of rubbish around here though. Maybe I could do a rubbish clean up sometime. Alright, so I'm now exploring this path on the other side. Which I was saying maybe I'll explore next time, but since I'm crossed here, take a quick look. Hit a dead end there because there's some stairs. I'm gonna go back to the other side. Stuck in an awkward place. Alright guys, if I get out of this, you gotta give me a thumbs up. Alright, that counts. Alright, didn't make it, but thumbs up anyway. I just did some chin-ups it feels great to do them again I couldn't do as many as I used to but that's because it's been a while and anyway right now if you know why where I am you're a true OG powerful Patrick follower although when I released this video I probably had like one subscriber but this is where Marcus makes the jump this is where he jumps down from the step maybe I'll put a preview of it here guys I got back from the bicycle ride now I'm back in my room I'm not sure if you will have seen the previous video by this point I was editing the previous video about quarantine but I'd, I was 99% finished but then the program Premiere Pro started lagging out heaps so I wasn't able to finish it and I'm still trying to get that done so I'm not sure if that video will get uploaded but anyway in that video I mentioned how now I'm back living at my parents house this is my room here. If you've been following me for a long time, you may know my second channel, Patrick Walker Drums, and this is where I filmed all of my drum covers, or most of them anyway, except for once I filmed when I rented a self-storage space. But this is where that happened. But since I got back here about a week ago, I haven't played any drums yet because the kick pedal, if you play drums, you know the kick pedal, is this one, which, uh, which plays the kick drum, but the spring is broken, so it doesn't work. So because of that, I haven't played any drums. Another thing I've been doing a lot during lockdown is just editing. And I've got this standing desk set up here. It's good for your posture. And I find even just using your laptop standing up makes me feel mentally better and more energetic as well. When you're sitting down, I think the posture just isn't good for your, it's not good for like your, your whole body pretty much and your mental health apparently. They say sitting reduces your lifespan. So if you can, try a standing desk. All you need is like put a chair on top of your desk or here I've got this, this table thing which used to be there next to the drum kit which I put the interface on for recording. Another tip is put a yoga mat or some piece of carpet where you stand. Because when you stand in one spot for a long time, your feet can get sore. So it's nice to stand on something soft. Get a computer mouse as well. Maybe I could make a whole video about setup but Actually, that's pretty much it there. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's definitely a major temperature change here compared to Vietnam, which is in full peak of summer at the moment in Da Nang. Even though much of Vietnam, it's in the south, it's a similar temperature the whole year. But here in Australia, it's winter at the moment. It's been pretty cold. If there's anything specific in videos you guys want to see, let me know below. I was planning on doing two a week, Tuesday and Friday, but as I was just talking about the previous video, how my program lagged, I was unable to put the video on Tuesday, so I'm not sure if I'll stick to that schedule, but I do plan to be more consistent. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe and click the bell so you get notified for new videos. And 
I will see you guys next time.